it's not good. Hello, welcome or welcome back to Classics with a Quirk, where we talk about contemporary and luxury designer items and brands with a touch of silliness. This is the kind of content that you find interesting. Please do like this video and subscribe for more of it. Thank you. As my subscribers might know, last week I released a video talking about the worldwide upcoming Louis Vuitton October 1st increase. I was able to get this information out early thanks to my wonderful viewers and my ability to speak Japanese. Since then, I've been posting YouTube shorts and stuff on my Instagram for updates on the ongoing price increase as it started kicking up worldwide, hitting Australia first, Singapore, the UK, and eventually the US. If you subscribe to me on Instagram, I also do live stuff there too, so I just recommend, if you're interested in this sort of thing, subscribing to me both places. But enough about that, the increase has now taken hold worldwide because it is October 1st in the US as well, and I have updated prices for you. I'm only going to be doing this video in USD today just because I don't want it to be super duper long, but if you're interested in currency updates, uh, for other countries, I do recommend visiting me on Instagram or leaving a comment down below and then I can do that too. So let's get into it and you know, it's it's not good. A lot of things went up. Some things surprisingly didn't actually. Uh, some things went up by an extortionate amount, like an exorbitant amount. I can't even comprehend how much Louis Vuitton is now trying to charge for some of these pieces or at least the increase itself. And other pieces didn't go up at all or went up by like minuscule amounts in comparison. So I'm going to just run through as much stuff as I could compile as early morning as it is and we'll just go from there. I am going to be looking down because I'm going to be referencing my notes. I'm going to try to make as much eye contact as possible, but if I look down that is why. Again, I'm going to just try to make this a really quick video so you just get the numbers and get what you want to know as soon as you possibly can. So we're going to go in the order of bags, SLG, my heritage, and then some things that surprisingly didn't go up. First of all, the multi prochette originally $2,050, it is now $2,360. In the same vein, the Pichette Matisse in mono was $2,050 and is now also $2,360. And the Pichette Matisse reverse was $2,100 and is also now $2,360. So they have equalized the Pichette Matisse in mono and reverse now. Originally they were different prices and now they are the same across the board. The bum bag was $1,760, is now $1,900. That's the original bum bag in the canvas print. The Neverfull MM was $1,540 and is now $1,690. Very strange to me at least, but the Neverfull PM and GM as of making this video at 6 in the morning hasn't seemed to go up in price. The Neverfull PM was on the website as $1,460 and is now still, to my ability, $1,460. And the GM was $1,620 and is now still $1,620. This changes as the video goes live, like feel free to let me know, but just so you know, those two items did start at those prices. And now I've been joined by a cat. So if you hear her meow, that is why I'm very tired. <laughs> The Alma BB was $1,480 and is now $1,620. So that makes the Alma BB almost as much as the Neverfull MM and also it makes it the same price as the Neverfull GM right now, which makes no sense. So I'm expecting that the Neverfull GM is going to go up in price, but right now the Alma is $1,620. The Neverfull GM is $1,620. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. The On The Go MM was 2,630 and is now 2,770. And just so you know, there were rumors about the On The Go MM being discontinued, but it was included in this current price increase. So that leads me to believe that it might still be produced or they just want to throw us off the trail or they want to increase it in price so it doesn't look so low in comparison to other things, even though they're not producing it. I don't know, Louis Vuitton, Please explain. The On The Go GM was 2,790 and is now 2,930. So a little bit under a $200 price increase there. The Vanity PM, 2,650 and now 2,700. It's only a $50 increase on the Vanity PM. It was already pretty expensive to start with though. Uh, and that is the, the Vanity PM with the strap, obviously. the bag. The Keep All Bandolier 45 was $2,000 and is now $2,230. And it looks like all the Keep All Bandoliers did go up by about $200 around there. The Papillon Trunk was $2,630 and is now $2,760. 
The Palm Springs PM was 2,210 and is now 2,430. So a $220 increase in the Palm Springs PM. The Palm Springs MM, 2,400 to 2,570. So 170 increase there. The Palm Springs Mini went from 1,990 to 2,300 dollars. So an under 2,000 dollar bag went to 2,300 dollars. So a 310 dollar increase before U.S. tax. I I was uh, shocked by that number. Actually, I thought it was a mistake at first that it went up to that much, but I I don't know what to tell you. The Noe line, the Noe. Regular Noe was 1,730 and is now 1,880. The Petite Noe was 1,400 and is now 1,580. The Noe BB, 1,340, is now 1,480. The Nano Noe didn't go up. It is now 1,300 still, and I'm going to include that in the items that didn't go up, but since we're talking about the Noe. The Capucines were strange. Now, I'm talking about the Capucines base model. There are so many different kinds of Capucines that I didn't track all of them, but the regular base mini was 4,480, and I am now seeing 4,850. The Capucines BB, though, does not seem to have cre increased. At least the blanket base one was 5,100 and now seems to still be 5,100. So SLGs is kind of interesting. I have some good news and some not so good news. The good news is quite a few items didn't go up. A lot of the wallets, the card holders, quite, quite a few of the SLGs didn't, didn't go up in price. The Kirigami set didn't even go up in price as far as I know right now. Some items did go up pretty significantly and I'm going to name those first. So first of all, the Cosmetic GM did go up. It was originally 615, it is now $675. So that's the Cosmetic GM. The Cosmetic Pouch, the base one, that was 550. I am not seeing an increase on that though. So if you've seen an increase in the Cosmetic Pouch in your country or time zone, please let me know. But I have not seen an increase on the basic cosmetic pouch. I couldn't see the toiletries on the website. I think they were taken off again. So I don't know if they've gone up in price if they're in store anymore. Quite a few items didn't go up, and I'm going to mention that at the end, but what did go up? The mini pochettes went from $445 to $540. So this little guy, this, this little guy right here, went from $445, which was already kind of a lot for it, to $540, over $500 for this, and almost an $100 increase before tax. Now I got this up before it went up to 445, so before the previous giant increase for this piece. Would you pay almost $550 for this before tax? Please let me know if you have this and you do think that it's worth $540. If you don't have this, are you no longer thinking that it's worth $540? Like I'm just very curious about your thoughts on the mini pochette. Like do you think this, this little, this little SLG is worth Five hundred and forty dollars. Please, please let me know because I, I just, I'm curious what what you think. I, I don't think it is. I, 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 I don't. The pochette accessoire though also had a significant jump. It went from seven hundred and ninety to one thousand and fifty dollars. Over one thousand dollars for the pochette accessoire. Now I don't have one to show you because I don't have it because I haven't been able to get one either and. Now, I don't think I'm going to try to. I no longer think that the pochette accessoire is worth it. I don't think $1,050 for what it is, is is worth it. Like I just recently bought a lovely conditioned Louis Vuitton Cabas Meso tote for under $300, including shipping. Like I, I, I don't know, guys, what do you think? Do you think that the pochette accessoire is worth over $1,000 USD? If, do you have one? Or do you want one? Like. I, I, again, please share your comments down below about how much these items, like this, this item was 500 something two years ago, and now it's more than doubled in price. I, I don't know. Okay. Oh, uh, one thing about the mini pochette, by the way, the mini pochette now is 540. The Christmas animation, which is usually more expensive than the regular base model is also 540 on the website. Still the Christmas animation has not gone up in price. It's 540. And the current mini pochette is also 540. So I don't know what that's I don't know what's going on with that. I don't know if they're stalling on increasing the price or they're 
equalizing the price, which makes no sense for Louis Vuitton, so I doubt it. I don't know if it's more in store. Like, if you know more about the Christmas animation prices and if they're increasing, like, again, please do leave a comment down below. I just, I'd like to know this information and I'm sure everybody else would too. So the My Heritage pieces did go up uh, significantly and not so much. First of all, the mini pochette went from $640 to $725, so a big jump for the mini pochette and the My Heritage, but it makes sense if the base model is now $540, it doesn't make sense for the mini pochette My Heritage to only be $100 more. The Speedy 25, not Bandolier, the Speedy 25 went from $1560 to $1760, so $200 there, and the Speedy 30 My Heritage went from 1590 to 1780 The Speedy B25 My Heritage, the Bandolier, went from 2070 to 2090, only a $20 increase. And then the Speedy B30 My Heritage went from 2110 to 2150 so a $40 increase there. Negligible, right? The Neverfull MM My Heritage went from 2000 to 2090, and the Neverfull GM My Heritage went from 2070 to 2160. So the Neverfull GM My Heritage did go up in price, so I, I can't imagine that the Neverfull GM regular isn't going to increase in price. I, that doesn't make any sense to me. So I, I might be missing it, I don't know, but probably it'll increase, so I apologize if this video isn't like 100% accurate. I'm doing my best. Now for what didn't go up in price, and we have actually a pretty decently sized list, and I'm going to just run through these really quick. So what didn't go up in price, the Felicity Passet, the Speedy B25, the Speedy B30, the Speedy B35, the Neverfull PM, the Neverfull GM, the Petite Mall, the Nano Speedy and the Nano Noe, the Capucines BB, as I previously said, are all bags that didn't go up in price, at least right now as of making this video, and I've been tracking worldwide prices as well, and I don't believe these things went up in Australia, so Australia's, a, you know, Australia's ahead of the US, so they actually had the increase first, which is how I got the information out for the shorts and for my Instagram, so I, I don't know. SLGs that didn't go up in price, and again, like a decently long list, the key pouch didn't go up in price, the Kiragami set, again, didn't go up in price, very nice. The cosmetic pouch base didn't go up, apparently, even though the cosmetic GM did, but don't trust that because I don't I don't know what's happening with that. The Nieces also didn't go up in price. The Nice Mini, Nice BB, Nice Nano, none of those three went up in price. The Rosalie coin purse didn't go up in price, which was a pleasant surprise, at least to me, because it's something that I've really liked a lot, and I think it's a piece that a lot of people do think is really cute and fun, so that's still $400. The Victorine wallet didn't go up in price, that's still $570. The six ring K holder didn't increase, and the Recto Verso also didn't increase as far as I know. It's still $590 on the website, so you know, that's, that's pretty cool. It really is interesting to see what went up and by how much, because a lot of items now are comparable to each other, if you, you take my meaning. I mean, obviously, the bags themselves aren't comparable because they're different bags and different people want different things. So if you don't want a tote and you want a mini bag, you're probably going to gravitate more towards the Alma BB than Neverfull, but it just, it's interesting that they're almost the same price now. Same with the Speedies. I mean, the Speedy B25 is $1,650. The Alma BB is $16.20, so for only $30 more you could get a Speedy Bandolier 25. It's just, I, I, I don't know, I'd, I'd be very interested to see when, what went on in the Louis Vuitton boardroom of like who decided what things would go up by how much because this is, I mean, this is fascinating to me. It's not fun in the way that it's never fun when items go up in price, but this is just, it's very interesting what went up and by how much. And like, again, you know, the, the Felicity Pichette didn't go up in price, $1,170 still. So it's now, for, for a wallet on chain that comes with two inserts, like that's a, that's a pretty good buy. I didn't put leather items on this list too because I just didn't want this list to get super duper long, but if you want a video on leather prices as well, I can do that too. Just, you know, I, I wanted to do canvas first because that's what a lot of people seem to care about. Also, I just want to mention, since I think that some people might want to know, but the Speedy 20 Bandolier that is coming out, that has not increased in price from what I can see, e even in the leather. The leather prices are still the same for the Speedy 20 Bandolier, so that's uh, good, I guess. It would be 
so interesting. I mean, I, I wouldn't put it past Louis Vuitton to increase the price while it's still in pre-release, but they haven't yet, so that's good. If you, I, I really would be interested to hear what your thoughts are, especially on some of the items that I mentioned, if you think that they're still worth it. Uh, some of the items I don't think are worth it anymore, and if you're interested in a video on that, like, I'd be happy to make one. I have an upcoming video, actually, on vintage Louis Vuitton pieces and discontinued Louis Vuitton pieces, like, bags that I think are really good buys for what they are, how to buy them, what to look for on the pre-love market, so if you're interested in that video, I do recommend sticking around. Do subscribe and hit the notification bell again, as I said, if you would be interested in more videos like this one. And if you like this video, please do give it a like. It super duper helps the algorithm. And as I said, subscribing helps the algorithm even more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey everybody, editing quirky. It's a little bit later and I noticed as I was editing the video that some things did go up that I mentioned had not. So I'm gonna just quickly tell you those things now. The um, Speedy Bs actually all did increase in price. The Speedy B25 is $16.90, up from $16.50. Speedy B30 is $17.40, up from $16.80. The Speedy B35 is $1,800, up from $1,700, and a $100 increase there. Never full PM and GM did actually <laughs> finally increase uh, a couple hours later. So the PM was originally $14.60, it is now $16.20. And the Neverfull GM, which was 1620, is now 1760. So you can buy a PM for what you would have paid for the GM 24 hours ago. Yay!